Hello everybody, this is AG here, and welcome to the Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. September is here, and it is the second event of the season in the Turkey Hill Truck Series Season number 8. Tomorrow's the Mellow Yellow 0200 here from Darlington, a 37 lap event tomorrow. 10 minute qualifying session today to determine the starting lineup in the second event of the season. Of course, this race should be a little less chaotic than the first race that we had at Daytona on Sunday. Um, but the good thing is, it should still be an excellent race here from the Darlington Raceway, and uh, definitely excited to see who pulls it off. Definitely excited to see how the ratings affect these drivers, and uh, we'll definitely see how that all plays out as the season goes along. Of course, Shane Lake won the first race of the season at the Daytona International Speedway. Grabbed that race victory in the Featherlight Trailers 250 on Sunday. We'll have to see how well he does here. Laura Chung finished second. Noah Clifton also had a great run in that event at Daytona. Zach Winkle and Ethan Lewis there round out the top five. There's Laura Chung in the 61 finished runner-up in her first ever start on the channel. We'll have to see how well she can do in the number 61 machine here today. Definitely excited to see how it all goes down at Darlington. This is a bit of a short race, too, so not going to be much time for these guys uh, to get through the field. So you definitely want to start up front here at the Darlington Raceway, as it is a slightly difficult place to make a pass. There's Joey Hightower in number nine, currently the fastest driver. Of course, as this session goes along, we will see these speeds change rather frequently. Hightower still holds on to that fastest time of the drivers who have completed a full lap under speed. Roberto Crown Jr. in the 66 machine. They are currently the slowest of all the drivers who have completed a lap. 98 machine there. Of Ryan Kingart is second fastest, and Sebastian Kukulon goes to the top of the board with Roberto Crown Jr. They're kind of helping each other out right there. 40 machine there. Nathan Stapling goes to third. 28 of Tanner Parton up to the fourth position. Laura Chung the fifth. And then you got the 99 machine there of Zach Winkle running in seventh. But Kukulon with the fastest time so far here in Darlington qualifying. We'll have to see how well Sebastian Kukulon can do. Of course, a past champion of this series. I think. I think I'm right about that. I hope I'm right about that. <laughs> I should know my own series pretty well, shouldn't I? There's Shane Lake, our last winner here. 56 there. Of Josh Williamson goes to second quickest. And then the 98 of Ryan King are there in third. Roberto Crown Jr. is fourth. Nathan Stapleton fifth. There's the race winner is more than likely going to come from those uh, top few positions. 32 machine Memphis Fisher to the second position. He just was two one thousandths off of the fast time set by Kukulon, and it looks like we may have had an accident here in qualifying. Zach Winkle with some damage in the 99 machine. I'm not entirely sure how that occurred, but a uh, bit of an unfortunate moment there for the driver, the number 99. Not everyone has fully completed a lap yet, but Winkle is one of those drivers who I do believe has gone out there and made an entire circuit. And 32 machine of Memphis Fisher has gone to the top of the board. And that is a great time there, 28.06. That was on his second lap as well, so uh, definitely good to see that second lap come into play there just a little bit. I think Ukulon at this point, the tire wear is going to be rather significant for him, and I don't think he's going to be getting much out of that car or out of that truck at this point. Will Parrish is fourth. Shane Lake is fifth quickest. Then it's Josh Williams in there. 22. Eric Drew just moved up to fourth. Great run there for the 22 machine. Great lap out of the rookie driver. Number four, Ethan Lewis there. And there's Noah Clifton tying with Sebastian Kugelon. But Clifton holds the tiebreaker on the number 75 as he finished higher than Kugelon in the Daytona event. Shane Lake is now seventh quickest. But it's still Memphis Fisher, the fastest driver. There he is. I've been trying to find this car, this truck, the entire time. And now I finally ran into it there. But a great lap time out of Memphis Fisher there. Currently holds on to the fastest time here in Meliello 0200 qualifying. Um, I'm intrigued to see if Noah Clifton might be able to do something in the number 24 machine. Possibly have a shot taking that pole position away. 
he is kind of stuck behind the driver right there, so I don't think this lap is going to work out too well for him. And that was probably his opportunity to get a faster lap than Memphis Fisher right there, but still a great lap out of Noah Clifton with the 28.078. Like I said, he does hold the tiebreaker on Kukulon as he finished higher at Daytona and is ahead of him in the point standings. Of course, the point standings breaking that tie between the two drivers. So it's Memphis Fisher, Noah Clifton, Sebastian Kukulon, Ryan Kingart, Eric Drew, Will Parrish, Shane Lake, Ethan Lewis, Josh Williamson, and the 44 of Juan Rodriguez rounds out the top 10. Then you have the 66 of Roberto Crown Jr., 52 of Eric Monaco, the 12 machine of Owen Miles, 40 of Nathan Stapleton, the 7 of Derek Hamill, the 88 machine of Nicholas Samadio, 28 machine is driven by Tanner Parton. You got the 20 machine there of Allison Rain, 38 machine of Evan Carlson, not Eric Carlson. I apologize if I made that mistake during the announcing of the race. Evan Carlson in the 38. 91 of Igor Barreto, 61 of Laura Chung, 19 machine of Chris Reynolds, 99 of Zach Winkle, 9 of Joey Hightower, the 23 machine of Reggie Fogelman, the 51 machine of Nathan Ormond, 16 machine of Aaron Abel, the 15 of Chris Tejada, 30 machine of Casey Nanico, the 10 of Ryan Durrani, and someone just moved up there, 25 machine of Caleb Rose, 18 of Jonathan Logan, 1 machine of Brian Webb, and the 45 of Brad Stover, currently the slowest, but Stover's yet to actually get a full time out there because I think we did have a wreck. Uh, Brian Webb's actually also yet to complete a full lap under speed here, but he does still have plenty of time to get out there and get it done. But uh, everyone except Brian Webb has successfully completed a full time. We'll see where Brad Stover, or should I say Brian Webb, is out there on the racetrack. I'm sure he's out there somewhere. And I'm sure he will eventually move up and, uh, Gonna move up to the 32nd position, but uh, able to get something in. Memphis Fisher, though, still with the fastest time here in Darlington qualifying for the Turkey Hill Truck Series, and uh, Memphis Fisher could uh, very well be finding himself in victory lane tomorrow if things go his way. This is actually, for the trucks at least, one of the harder places to make a pass. It actually is a slightly difficult place to make a pass. Of course, it is definitely very possible, but uh, we'll just have to see what this 32 machine can, in fact, do. But uh, excited to see what he can pull off there in the 32 machine. Noah Clifton and Sebastian Kukulon, a couple of veterans there. Ryan King Art has uh, run before, so he's got some experience as well. Lean on his brother, or his, his father officially, Richard King Hart. The 02 machine of Will Parrish. Great run for Parrish there. Got a decent amount of experience. Of course, Shane Lake, a past cup champion. Well, actually won that championship at this very racetrack. Of course, he didn't win the race, but was the site of the finale in the ninth season of the Cup Series. Number four machine. That truck driven by Ethan Lewis. And the 16, Aaron Abel, has moved up to ninth. A great place to start on that inside lane. And that'll put Josh Williamson in the tenth position. I'll move Juan Rodriguez to eleventh. Brad Stover moved up to the twelfth position. So Stover with a Relatively fast truck right there. Definitely be interesting to see who pulls this race victory off tomorrow. I'm, in, I'm intrigued to see how these ratings are going to go. I mean, we did this in the Hearst Dash Series a couple years ago. I think it was great. It was a lot of fun to do that series. But the races were a little bit shorter than these races. I mean, not to say that these races are that long. I mean, we got some pretty short races here in the uh, Turkey Hill Truck Series. When we go to Bristol, it's only 50 laps. That, that's just the way it is, you know. When we go to Pocono, it's only 15 laps there. There's a couple of the shorter races that we're going to have this season. So we'll have to see how that all shakes out. But we'll definitely be seeing some guys who are going to have an advantage over others. And uh, it's going to be exciting to see who pulls off this Turkey Hill Truck Series Championship. And, of course, every position is worth the point. And, of course, you get three bonus points. Technically, four bonus points for the win if you count the lap led for the race victory. But you get three extra bonus points for winning the race and then the bonus point for leading a lap. And then another bonus point if you lead the most laps as well. So a maximum of 41 points a race for these guys. But uh, every position is worth one point. So definitely going to be exciting to see uh, who ends up with the most points at the end of 18 races. We're just early on in the season here in the Turkey Hill Truck Series. 
And uh, definitely excited to see how it all goes down here at Jolly. Think of the real life Southern 500 coming up this weekend. I'm going to miss all of it. I'm going to miss all the college football and all the racing this weekend because I got to work. But uh, that's just adulting for you, you know? I'll watch some of those West Coast college football games when I get home. And I can always watch the races on replay afterwards. That's the nice thing about YouTube TV. Definitely, definitely excited for this weekend. The Labor Day weekend is a great weekend for sports. Absolute great weekend for sports with that Southern 500, which is one of my favorite races of the season in the Cup Series. And then, of course, you know, me being the college football nerd that I am, I absolutely love all the college football that happens this weekend. Shane Lake with an issue. But thankfully, the time will stand, regardless of what happens in qualifying. Everyone has fully completed a lap under speed, which is good to see. So everyone will... Uh, have had that opportunity to uh, get out there, and that will do it for qualifying in the Mellow Yellow Zero 200. Your pole sitter is going to be Memphis Fisher. First career pole on the channel, only his second ever start. Noah Clifton, Sebastian Kukulon, Ryan Kingart, Eric Drew, Will Paris, Shane Lake, Ethan Lewis, Aaron Abel, and Josh Williamson. The top ten. Let's take a look at the rest of the results right there. Any tiebreakers will be broken by points. Brian Webb and Chris Reynolds are tied, but Webb does hold the tiebreaker on Reynolds. And the other tiebreaker was between Clifton and Kukulon. Um, Noah Clifton holds that tiebreaker on Sebastian Kukulon as he is higher in the point standings as well. But outside of that, that is how they will line up for tomorrow's Meliello 0-200 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and I just mentioned that I'm a college football nerd, and it's before noon, because that's when all the college football games start. And that's if you've ever wondered why a lot of the races in the fall start, like, before noon, that is why. But, you know, well, we'll get it done. Don't worry. Have a good one. Should have Andrew Miller in the booth with us tomorrow as well. So excited to see who gets it done here from Darlington in the Turkey Old Truck Series. Congratulations to Memphis Fisher for winning the poll here from Darlington. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the Turkey Old Truck Series from Darlington. We'll also have qualifying later on tomorrow afternoon for the IndyCar Series from Portland. And the IndyCar Series will be at Portland on Sunday. So excited to see all that coming up this weekend here on AG the Channel. Thank you guys once again, and I will see you guys later.